All right, on the phone right now, one of our favorites and uh, just a super talented dude making Georgia's finest. It is Jason L.D. Jason L.D. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, brother. We appreciate you uh, hanging out with us for a little bit right now. And uh, Let Your Boys Be Country, obviously, is a song that is out right now and absolutely killing it. Uh, let's talk about Rock the Country, though. You've been doing shows. You did one in Ocala close to us. That one had to be kind of extra special for you because you got some ties to that area, right? Yeah, man, it was really cool, and uh, I think it's been one of the, probably the biggest show we did all year, so, uh, but yeah, Ocala's always been a special town for me, I got family there, uh, came up in the early days before I moved to Nashville, I had a band there called Young Guns, and we were playing uh, Gainesville, Ocala, kind of that whole area, and uh, had a pretty good following there, so uh, it's always fun for me to go back, I mean, to me, that's kind of one of the places that I learned uh, to do all this, and and to go back and, and play shows there is, is really cool. And I don't get to do it a ton anymore just because, you know, Ocala is not one of the major cities. But sure, right. it's, uh, it's always been a pretty special spot for me. And to be able to go back and, and do this festival there this year was, was pretty neat. Now, mm-hmm. has it surprised you the response you've gotten from these Rock the Country dates? Yeah, I mean, I, well, I mean, I think I kind of knew what to expect going into these. Um, you know, it's it's a festival. It's obviously you know, rock the country. It's a and it's with Kid uh, Rock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a it's a patriotic themed you know festival, and it's you know it's it's been cool. It's been a lot of fun to to go out and play, and the crowds have been amazing. And uh, you know, me playing one night and Kid Rock playing on the the other night. You never know really who's going to be on which night as far as opening shows, and so it's been it's been a lot of fun. And uh, you know, I'm glad they kind of reached out to us. This is the first year for that festival, and you know, they reached out to us about being involved in it, and it was kind of a no brainer. So it's been uh, it's been a good time, man. I'm glad we got to to help kick this thing off. Now you don't uh, let your kids go venture into the crowd and and meet the people out there, do you? <laughs> No, I mean, there is tons of, of good folks out there, but, uh, you know, the kids, when it comes to that, you know, it's like any anybody keep an eye on them. And, uh, well, the I mean, part, you, we got, you do say, let your boys be country. I mean, that's country right there. That's country, man. Yeah, just take off in any, any other time, probably. But uh, when there's 30,000 people out there, I'm just scared I can't find them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is there anything that uh, you do keep Memphis besides that um, from doing? I mean, we see all over Instagram, you know, your your wife is constantly posting videos and pictures of, you know, fishing and hunting. I mean, your kids are just so busy. Is there anything that you don't want him to do or you try to keep him from doing? No, I mean, I, I just think at this age, just figure it out. You know, it's like it's figure out what you want to do is that, you know, go play all the sports, go go fall off of something and realize, man, that hurts. I probably shouldn't do that again. So (laughs) like, you know what I mean? Let him, let him kind of figure it out. That's, that's kind of where I'm at with him. Obviously as a parent, you want to protect him as much as possible, but you know, they got to learn and figure it out too. So uh, that's the phase we're in. All right. Very cool, man. Let your boys be country is the song. Jason Aldean on the phone with us right now. Uh, Jason, I got to talk to you about a song. Let's can we just go back for a little bit? Cause we recently heard that there was a song that went huge for you. Big green tractor that you did not think was going to be a hit at all and kind of were reluctant to record it, right? Well, I, not that I didn't think it was going to be a hit. I mean, I and we had already recorded the song, so I, I liked the song. Um, it was just one of those that I was really surprised when it came time to pick singles. That was one that people were leaning towards, and my producer especially uh, was just like, man, I'm telling you, there's something about this song. And I was just like, really, that one? Like, it's, <laughs> it's so, you know, I don't know, it's just, those kind of lyrics are typically not what I do. And I'd done that with, you know, uh, She's Country and, you know, those kind of things. But um, Hicktown a little bit. But then we were trying, I was also coming out with Why and Amarillo Sky and songs like that that were mm-hmm. having a little more meat on them. And, uh, and so I was just like, man, I don't know that I want to put it. I don't want to start down that road of putting those kind of songs out. Well, then you'd be Luke Bryan, you know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> no, but I put it out, and, uh, you know, obviously I was wrong because that thing was a, it was a four-week number one and, um, you know, one of the biggest records I ever had. But uh, And obviously glad I, I did now, but at the time it's just, you know, you're early in your career and you're really trying to, you know, <clears throat> make the right moves and not put something out that, 
that you're not crazy in love with. And like, it, it was just a kind of a tricky time when you're doing that. And so, uh, luckily for me, it was a, it was the right call. We put it out and, and had a big record on it. Now we had a great time with you at the Bruce Arians foundation charity. Uh, you played, you did amazing. Uh, we raised a bunch of money, but you did bid on a Tom Brady game worn Jersey. Have you paid up for that? No. <laughs> because I believe there was you were the high bid on the Tom Brady yeah. game war in Jersey. Yeah, I went backstage and and uh, you know talked to Bruce and sort of hey, all right, man, let's get for real now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's waiting on his money still. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, man. Well, listen, brother, we appreciate you hanging out with us a little bit, and uh, congratulations on let your boys be country. You are the man. Give it up for Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you guys, man. Thanks for having me. All right, see you.